What's up guys, this is Ufer Days. Welcome back to another video. And today it's gonna to be on how to migrate from a Java Edition Mojang account to a Microsoft account. So this process has been talked about for probably like a year now, but they haven't been rolling out the migration process to many people until now. Before this, it was mostly just really rare accounts getting the process, but I have a couple other Mojang accounts and none of my other accounts have a notification about getting a migration. Only my Mojang account with the name Ufer Days had a notification, so I'm presuming that Mojang is rolling it out to YouTubers first, and then they're going to roll it out to um, just regular people after this. So since this account is under the name of Ufer Days, it did get the notification, and I will show you guys how to migrate as of right now. It could change when everyone else gets to migrate, but this is how it is in this current phase of migration. So I'm going to make a video on how to migrate right now. And before we get started, though, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of migrating to a Microsoft account because there are actually bad and good things about it. So the pros of migrating to a, a Microsoft account is you have much better account security. Alt shops aren't going to want to hack Microsoft accounts as much as they wanted to hack Minecraft slash Java accounts. So that means there will be a con, meaning that you can no longer really get alts anymore unless the alt shops are willing to take the risk of stealing Microsoft accounts on top of a bunch of confidential information people may have stored in their Microsoft accounts, such as like social security numbers, credit card numbers, um, email information, etc. So if alt shops are willing to take that risk, then we may still have alt accounts. However, I think some alt shops will actually shut down because of this. So there may still be alts, but it's going to vary. And also hack clients are going to have to implement a way to log in using the Microsoft account API instead of the Mojang account API, and that could take time, or it could be impossible. So we'll have to wait and see. I, I know some clients have implemented it, but I think Microsoft may change their API more than Mojang did, so it could um, break eventually. So that's the main pro and con of Microsoft accounts. The other pro to getting a Microsoft account is you get to earn a, I wouldn't call it a rare cape because everybody's gonna have this cape once everyone migrates, Supposedly, there was a rumor about getting a special cape for every year you played Minecraft. We'll find out if that's true today, but it may not be. So we'll just have to see and once we get through the migration process. But there is one cape that was revealed in the original video. Okay, so basically, there is that cape, and that's supposed to be the one that I'm supposed to be able to receive right now. So we'll see if that's true, and we'll also go in-game to see if we will... Um, see the cape in game. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to get, we're going to press on this button that says get started here at the bottom. To do this, you can also go to the um, options tab, click on uh, accounts, click here, and then click here, and that should open in your browser. So you type in your credentials, and we'll see if it logs, lets me in. Okay, perfect. So now you have this prompt here, and we, now we can move accounts. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to get a code. And I will pause for a moment, and I'll come back when I have the code. Okay, here is the code. We are going to go ahead and copy that and paste it into our uh, Minecraft.net here. It's taking a moment. We'll see if it actually does work. Okay, so now I need to log into a Microsoft account. All these emails will be blurred for my protection. And we're going to go ahead and press complete move. And we have finished. So that means we are going to have to go on here. And next time, and that when I sign into the launcher, it's probably going to log me out. Yes. Okay. So now I have to add my Microsoft login instead. Um, it looks like it's having trouble. Okay. There we go. It just took a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and blur out the email once again.
And there we go. We are now in a Microsoft account. So we're going to go ahead and press play, and we're going to see what happens. And if I go to skins, maybe it'll actually show up that I have a cape or not. No, it doesn't. So I'm probably going to have to go to my um, skin area to look at, skin, look at capes. As you can see, I now have a Migrator cape. So you only get one cape. You do not get a cape for every year you played Minecraft, unfortunately. But Which means that this cape won't really be a novelty item. But I did actually get a cape. These, are, these used to be extremely rare, but now I think everybody's going to be wearing this cape. So it's not as cool as some people were thinking it would be because some people thought that you would get a cape for every year you played Minecraft, but unfortunately, that is not the case here. I'm going to go ahead and pause and I'll wait for the game to load. Alrighty, I am in game, and if you press F5, as you guys can see, here is the cape. This is indeed the cape that they did show in the original video. Now in game for everyone to enjoy, well at least the people that have been able to migrate their accounts so far, which doesn't seem to be very many people because I have lots of Minecraft accounts and only this one had a notification. So it's either a random dice roll or it's only being handed out to YouTube usernames. So I'll show you what it looks like with armor on. And I'll also show you what the cape looks like when you have an elytra on. Uh, what? Oh, that was weird. This is what it looks like with armor on. Looks pretty nice. The top looks and matches with the netherite armor, which looks, I like, I think that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and try out the elytra. Ooh, it looks really nice. Let me get some firework rockets. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome, actually. So, overall, this is pretty cool. And to be honest, I'm not really too disappointed in migrating my account. However, it will make cheating on Minecraft servers far more difficult. So, I don't know if I'm going to have Minecraft cheating content anymore. I might, but I may not. So, we'll see how it goes. But, with all that said and done, that will be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you guys found it helpful, be sure to leave a like as well. And um, there will be some more content coming to this channel soon. I apologize for the lack of content, but I do have plans to make an updated video on how to get unbanned on Fortnite using GeForce Now and some other videos like that. Also, perhaps some streams. So if you guys would like to see those, be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. See you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.